Hello again, everyone. I'm Dr. George Simon, and welcome to another edition of Character Matters, the program where we talk about what I consider to be the defining issue of our time, the character crisis that we face and that affects every single aspect of our lives. Today, I'd like to talk about something that I've talked about before, but I'd like to talk about it in a little bit more detail, and that has something to do with the various shades and types and degrees of narcissism present in many disturbed characters. There's a lot of information on the internet and in books and articles these days about narcissism. Much of it's good. Some of it's quite inaccurate and misleading. Narcissism is a dimension of personality and can be in itself so dominant in a person's personality that it represents a true disorder of sorts, but it exists in different types and degrees. And not all of the types of narcissism are particularly repulsive. Some can be even attractive. And that's what I'd like to talk about a little bit more today. A whole lot of traits can comprise an individual's personality and their character, the moral side, the ethical side of our personalities. And some folks who are overly self-centered, concerned primarily with their own welfare and especially their own image, can have other traits that in a way can be relatively benign and are also quite attractive. Some folks with significant narcissism in their personalities have social skill, have a manner about them that is not repelling but inviting. They may be quite easygoing, amiable, likable, They may have the skills to engage and interact in a way that attracts as opposed to repulses. You don't realize the downside of their character, which is inevitable to show up because of their self-centeredness and because of their diminished capacity to really love. You don't realize this until it's too late. Sometimes they hide the parts of their personality that would signal you that there's trouble ahead. But oftentimes they make no attempt to hide themselves. Rather, it's that you don't see everything. All the rest of them and their characteristics escapes you because you're so tuned in to the attractive parts. So it is with some folks that I call the charmers. Sadly, while some charm should sound an alarm, many folks are taken in by the folks who have a way about them that is not only charming, but also engaging and inviting. This is a skill set. Some come by it quite naturally. Some have honed it over time. But in any case, folks who have the gift of charm, or who have honed down the skills related to charm, can effectively seduce you when they cast their eyes upon you or when they begin to engage with you. In olden times, Some refer to these folks as effective spellcasters, quickly bringing you under their spell. You almost don't know what's happening. And there are times when folks with the gifts that I'm talking about are actually quite benign, maybe even solid, good characters. But there are times when charm should sound an alarm. And those times have to do with the other characteristics the person has that are bound to cause you trouble in your relationship and are bound to exploit or hurt you in some way. 
And that's why, in our day and time, vetting character is so crucial, especially on the front end of a relationship. But we've largely lost this talent. Most of us have been well-schooled in how to do it, what to look for, what unmistakable signs there are that there could be trouble ahead. So we allow ourselves to be swayed, only to learn later on, as the relationship progresses, that we're engaged with a person who is not who we once thought they were. And I'll have more to say about the importance of character vetting in upcoming editions of Character Matters. You can find many articles on the topic on the blog at drgeorgesimon.com. And remember that Character Matters will be going live simultaneously with the recordings that will be posted on YouTube later, beginning in November on the 1st and third Wednesdays at noon central time. And I'll have more to say about that in some articles on the blog and on future podcasts. One more announcement. One of my books, a book dear to my heart, The Judas Syndrome, is undergoing revision and updating. A new edition of the book will be available as an Amazon CreateSpace publication beginning early next year. There are limited copies of the current edition, which will quickly go out of print. But rest assured, the Judas Syndrome will be back under the same or a different title, hopefully early next year. Once again, thanks for tuning in. I'm Dr. George Simon. Until next time, take care.